I recently made Reese's Cups, a giant Reese's Pie, Twix, Three Musketeers, and Kit Kats. Because if you ask me, all the best things in life are covered in chocolate. And each of these dupes was relatively simple to make, minus a few mishaps along the way. And I have to say, yo, mm -hmm. they ended up tasting pretty delicious. Let's start with the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Here's four ingredients. Milk chocolate chips, peanut butter, powdered sugar, and graham crackers. Crush up 10 graham crackers in a blender or food processor. Add to a large bowl. Add one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar and one and a half cups of melted peanut butter. Mix it all up. Melt the chocolate chips in the microwave and stir every 30 seconds until smooth. Pour about one tablespoon of melted chocolate into a cupcake liner and spread across the bottom. Roll about one tablespoon of the peanut butter mixture in your hands. Sort of flatten it, since I don't want my peanut butter cups to kind of be rounded on top. Top with another tablespoon of melted chocolate. Look how cute it is. Yo. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter layer is just so much better in the homemade version because it's so much thicker. This is a much better ratio than what is normally found in a Reese's because there is like two peanut butter to one chocolate, two to one. Now onto the giant Reese's cup. I recently made the homemade version of the Reese's cup, the regular sized, and this time we're going to blow it up extra large and make essentially a Reese's pie. Now my recipe calls for six ingredients, graham crackers, peanut butter, Technically, it calls for coconut oil, but I only have vegetable oil, so that's what we're gonna use. Chocolate chips, powdered sugar, and butter. Now, two cups of chocolate chips. Now, we wanna spread this all across the bottom of the pan, as well as along the edges, because we want those ridges around the Reese's to show, since that's how the real candy looks. Place the shell in the freezer for 10 minutes to set. Crush one and a quarter cups of graham crackers. Pour in one and a quarter cup of powdered sugar, one and a quarter cup of melted peanut butter, and a half cup plus two tablespoons of melted butter. Mix until fully combined. Spread the peanut butter mixture onto the hardened chocolate shell. Melt two more cups of chocolate and pour on top of peanut butter mixture. Oh, this looks so good. This look actually looks good. I mean, I didn't, I, don't, I didn't think it was gonna look bad, but I'm just saying, I'm getting excited because I can foresee how the end product will be. Place in the freezer for 15 minutes to set. <gasps> the ridges look so good! That is delicious. Adding butter to the peanut butter filling, key. That made it so thick and so creamy and just like velvety. Next up, we have Twix. I'm gonna be making homemade Twix with just four ingredients, one of which being graham crackers, chocolate chips, caramels, and milk. Place 15 caramels in a bowl. One. <laughs> we could maybe uh, just speed this up. Add one and a half tablespoons of milk to a bowl of caramels. Melt in the microwave for 30 second increments until smooth. If it seems too thick, add one more tablespoon of milk. Break three sheets of graham crackers in four pieces. So this is gonna be the base of our candy bar. So I'm gonna break them lengthwise. Graham crackers can be hard to break. I'm kind of nervous though. Yeah, like. What am I supposed to do? Do you have a pizza roller? Oh! <laughs> There's a feeling of satisfaction when it doesn't break in half the wrong way. Go with the pizza cutter. Just apply a little bit of pressure to the center of the cookie and it should split the pieces evenly in half. Nice. Spread a thin layer of melted caramel on each cracker and let it set. Dunk each graham cracker into melted chocolate and lay it on wax paper. Let them set in the fridge for 15 minutes. Ooh, caramel is gooey. That's really good. The caramel in my homemade version is silkier. So you kind of like get that like stringy, like melted caramel in your bite. Yeah, you can even see the caramel, it looks like just like hardened. Where mine looks like gooey. I feel like I'm doing an experiment. Like I actually see the difference. So this is really well coated in chocolate. It has a nice like creamy caramelly 
thickness inside and then like a thin cookie that kind of just snaps. Now I tackle three musketeers. The three ingredients are fluff and then as a substitute for chocolate spread, I'm gonna use Nutella and then chocolate chips, which is gonna be my outer coating of the candy bar. Melt three ounces of the chocolate chips using a double boiler. Stir until smooth. Spread evenly onto a greased loaf pan lined with parchment paper. Refrigerate five minutes to set. In a separate bowl, mix together three and a half ounces of fluff, which is half a jar, and one sixth of a cup of Nutella, or another chocolate spread. Microwave for about 30 seconds to loosen up the mix. Pour over the hardened chocolate in the loaf pan. Refrigerate for about 20 minutes, or until it's firm enough to cut. Remove the candy from the pan. Cut bars about three inches in length, or shorter for fun size bars. Melt remaining chocolate chips. Dip the bars until totally covered and let them set in the freezer for five minutes. Let's give it a go. My version of the Three Musketeers is way more dominated by the chocolate, whereas the real Three Musketeers has such a thicker nougat layer, which in hindsight, I wish the homemade version did too. A note for next time, the nougat is sticky and hard to spread, so make more to get a thicker inner layer. And finally, Kit Kats, one of the easiest candy bars to make at home. There are only two ingredients for this one, vanilla wafers and chocolate chips. Get your wafers in a cookie sheet with wax paper ready. Melt three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips using a double boiler. Dip vanilla wafers into melted chocolate. Looking good. Place candy bars down on wax paper. Let set in the fridge for 25 minutes. Okay. Mm. That tastes different. Not in a bad way. These wafers taste flakier than the wafers in the Kit Kat. I think this feels more condensed. This is just flakier and kind of like crumbles as you bite into it, but good. That was good. So that was fun. I've eaten probably 36 candy bars. Overall, I think the most successful candy bar dupe or replica that I made were the Reese's Cups. Definitely the Reese's Cups, would 100% make those again. I would make the homemade version before I would go buy the Reese's. Which is saying a lot, because Reese's are so good as they are. Make the Reese's Cups, they're really freaking good. Hope, hope you guys try a couple of these at home, and if you did it better than me, you can also let me know that too. All right, bye.